In this video, I'm going to show you how to put together some beadlock wheels. Here's what we're looking at for parts in this video. We've got the satin black cyclone beadlock wheels. We're going to mount the Swamp King tires on these wheels. And then we've got these lug nuts that we're going to put on here. Now you do have your choice of lug nuts. You can either get this traditional nylon locking nut style, or you can get these upgraded lug nuts. We're going to choose to use the latter on this one. Take a look at the wheels. We're going to be looking at the cyclones in this video but all the beadlock wheels from Little Guy Racing Parts go together the same way. So even if you get a different type of wheel, the lessons here are still going to apply. Right, there's your wheel right there. So these come with the screws already in the center of the wheel. So when we take these apart, we've just got six screws here. So I'm gonna reposition the camera here. I'll show you exactly what I mean. We're gonna break this wheel down. We're gonna install a tire onto it. You can see it step by step. Right, let's get into this. Here's our 0 0.05. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to remove all six of these screws. Now with the screws out, we can break this wheel down. So you can see the little guy racing parts are a three-piece wheel. We have the inner ring here. We have the inner part of the wheel, which has your hex hub here, and we have the outer part of the wheel. This is what you're going to see on the build. Here's our Swamp King. See, the Swamp Kings already have the foam inserts already inside, so it's ready to mount here. First thing we're going to do, we're going to take the ring. We're just going to put it inside the tire here. What I like to do is just kind of squish it around, make sure that the foam is nice and even and consistent around the tire. Just kind of eyeball it and make sure it's nice and centered. Next, we're gonna take our inner part of the wheel and we're gonna put this right in here. Now what I like to do is kind of take your thumb, you're gonna press on the hex nice and firm and you're just gonna tug on the tread a little bit just to pull that bead out around the ring. You can hear it almost pop into place just pull real gently, work your way around until you've got a good seat. And you'll feel it when it sits on the ring in there. You'll know when you've got a good seat. Also, the Little Guy Racing Parts tires have this really nice lip here that makes it really easy to mount these wheels. You want to get the lip of the rim inside that seat of the tire. You get a good seal that way. And you can see right here, we're sitting right in there nice and flush. Tire looks good, so we're perfectly seated on the inside of the wheel. Now we're going to flip it over. We're going to take the outside, and we're going to lay it over the top. Now this is where it can get a little tricky. So what I like to do, I've got a nice light table here. I like to have a light workspace where I can see through the wheel. Because I'm going to line up visually, I'm going to line up the outside of my wheel with the inner part. So I just like to set it on there. I'm just going to visually look at it, make sure I can see all six holes. I can see light through each hole. The spokes of the wheel are matched up. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to push firmly with my thumb here. And I'm just going to tug the tire, work my way around, pull that bead out from the ring. There we go. You can feel it pop into place. And I'm just going to get it seated in there. We go. You can almost hear it. it. Drops in there nice and firm. And that's it. You can see it's got a real nice seat on the tire. Maintain that seal in the back. Looks good. So if it looks like you're a little off, so I like to look through it, make sure I can see light. If I'm a little off, I'll take my driver here and you can kind of just pry it around. You can straighten it out that way and align your holes, make sure you're good to go. This looks pretty much perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start putting my screws back in. When you first put them together, it's very important not to tighten it all the way down. You just wanna get the screw seated in there just enough to hold it together. Now we're gonna put the second screw in, we're gonna go on the opposite end. 
going to do the same thing. I'm just going to tighten it very, very lightly. I just want it to hold. Now I'm going to work my way across on opposite sides and install these screws. So now that I have all six screws in here, now I'm going to start to tighten these up. Now what I'm going to do is kitty corner them. I'm going to go one here, tighten it a little bit more, then I'm going to go to the opposite side. I'm going to tighten that one a little bit more. Then I'm going to jump over to as far opposite as I can get. I'm going to tighten that one. And then I'm going to go across and tighten this one. Still not tightening them all the way. I'm just doing a little bit on each one. Working my way across, not doing any adjacent screws. I'm trying to go across the hub. Now I'm just going to repeat that process until they're all nice and tight. And by nice and tight, I mean not beast mode tight. You don't need to tighten these things to the extreme degree. You just want to make sure you get a good torque on them, but they'll strip if you go too much because they're just tiny little screws. So make sure they're firm, but not overly tight. And then just work your way around. Make sure you're good. And that, my friends, is a freshly installed beadlock wheel with a brand new Swamp King tire. It's a beautiful thing. So now I'll do the other three, and we'll see these things all put together. Here we have four completed wheels and tires. Another thing to note that the Cyclone wheels are vented, so you don't need to vent your tires. So you get that nice squish. You can hear the air escaping. There's nothing wrong with the rim or the tire. That just allows the tire to compress and to allow it to conform to obstacles. So that's actually a benefit of these wheels is that you do not have to put holes in the tires to get the vented benefits. The wheels do the work for you. So that's a complete set right there of the Swamp Kings on the Cyclone beadlock wheels.